Hiya, this is the first lesson, the first video of the differentiation three pack called Applications of Differentiation. Um, the band are playing upstairs, so I can, I can hear in the background like a beat. Don't know if you can, but never mind. Right then, so this is my lesson, lesson two, I think it is, sorry. Did I say lesson one? Lesson two. We had like 57,000 videos, I think, for the last one. And this one should be quite straightforward. So the idea is, a uh, basic idea and how you do it is just a change going up, say three quarters, divided by a change going across. So what I could do is I could see that as being, say, three over 10 times by 10 over four. That's exactly the same. And I'm doing exactly the same here, the dy and the dt. So if I wanted dy by dt, I can split it. <sighs> as two different differentials times together. As long as the, the um, like, so like the dx's, the equivalent of dx's here would cancel. All right. So there's a quick bit here about the area in the, the um, equations. So I've got pi r squared, pi r squared h, a third pi r squared h, which you probably won't have remembered. Uh, the area of the curved surface area is pi r L, where L is the slant height, I've got the surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared, and I've got the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. I do like the fact that if you differentiate the volume of a sphere, you get the surface area of a sphere, in the same way that if you differentiated the area of a circle, you get the diameter, or well, circumference, so you the diameter, and that. Right, so, got all that, let's keep going. So it says here, a circular puddle. So with these, you always want to write, you work out what you've got, and then what you need, and then how do you get there, really. So a circular puddle is being fed by an overflowing drain. The radius is increasing at a rate of three centimeters per minute. So just looking at that wording, the radius is increasing. So there's a change in the radius. So that's dr. Now, if you look at the units, it's three centimeters. So centimeters is your radius. So that's okay. Per minute. So if it's minute, it's going to be with time. So dr by dt is three centimeters per minute. So that information is there, given to me. It says, what is the rate of change of the area? So what I want to find is dA by dt. So find the rate of change of the area. If it doesn't say with respect to, we always take it with the area. Right, when the puddle is 15. Right, okay. So I want to find dA by dt. I'm going to use this idea up here of splitting it up. So it's a dA over something times by a something over dt. And if you look at the information you're given in the question, let's press the button, it's a dr by dt there. So that must be dA by dr there. So this dr by dt, I've got, that's 3. And here, it's saying, differentiate the area with respect to the radius. So I can do this. I can find dA by dr, because I know that a is pi r squared. So dA by dr is 2 pi r. So this little bit here now is going to go there. So my dA by dt, which is made up of dA by dr and dr by dt, so dA by dt is dA by dr, which I've said is 2 pi r, times by dr by dt, which I've said is 3. There. So I know that 
and up to you down there. I know that dA by dt is 6 pi r, but the question says, find it when the radius is 15, when r is 15. So if I put in r is 15 here, dA by dt is 6 pi times 15, so that's going to be 90 pi. So dA by dt is 90 pi. Now I've got to think about the units. Area is centimetre squared. Time is minute. So I can do slash minute or min to the minus 1. It's up to you. So slash minute or min to the minus 1. Well, that's 90 pi. There you go. So just kind of recapping. <sighs> I wanted dA by dt. I had dr by dt. So there's what I want. There's what I've got. I needed to find dA by dr. So differentiating a with respect to r to help me find it. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. Right, finish that one. Bye-bye.